Hello friends, let's see an interesting activity. Why is the dot coming to the center? Because of centripetal force, right? Hi, this is Meena Natsunkar. I just gave a small demo of how I started session in my class. Here, I performed this activity to get your attention. I did the same in my class to get the students' attention. And I found it's a great way to introduce the concept of centripetal force and centrifugal force. Here, I will explain three easy and interesting hands-on activities that will help students to understand the concepts better. Each activity will just take 10 to 15 minutes. Let's come to our introductory activity. Here, we can ask students to rotate the balloon in different directions so that it will help students to bring their attention to the motion of the nut. After with the nut, we can also try this activity with a coin and can ask the difference between with a nut and a coin to the students. This activity made the students to think why the nut is coming to the center. And this small demonstration helped me to introduce the session's topic. Here, I will again explain two simple activities for the centrifugal force. For this activity, we need a thread, a plastic cup, a paper cup also fine, some water and a needle. Make three holes on the rim of the cup at equal distances. Pass each thread of equal length through each hole and tie the threads together. Attach a foot of thread at the common points of these threads. Fill half a glass with water. Now hold this assembly like this. Rotate the cup with swift action. Now observe what happens. This activity would take approximately 5 minutes. After this demonstration, students were curious to know why the water is not falling down even if the glass is upside down. And with the help of this activity, they understood the concept of centrifugal force clearly. In discussion with the students, you can ask these questions like, Why is the water not falling down even if the glass is upside down? What is opposing the water not to fall? After explaining the centrifugal force, it made the students to understand it clearly. We can also give a small puzzle to the students to explain the centrifugal force. We will make a spinner that we will rotate on our index finger. For that, we will need a piece of rubber and two broomsticks. Here, we can ask the students what is the direction of the force. They may relate this activity with the previous activity and try to answer. Let's see one more activity to explain the centrifugal force. Students can directly perform this activity under the teacher's guidance. Let's make the assembly using two transparent plastic glasses, two plastic balls, cello tape. We can ask the students how can we separate these balls without touching these balls and without destroying the assembly. After performing the activity, you can ask these questions to the students. What kind of motion separates the balls and why? I think it's now a good time to explain the definitions of centrifugal force and centripetal force. Now we can give another puzzle to the students based on both the forces. The smaller ball has to lift the big ball up. How can we help the smaller ball to lift the bigger ball up without touching any of the balls? This is a good example where the students can apply both the concepts of the forces. We can give few chances to the students to solve this puzzle and to know the reason. We can ask the students about the motion of each ball and the forces acting on each ball. For a quick revision, we can ask questions like explain the concept of centripetal force and centrifugal force. Draw simple diagrams showing the direction of centripetal force and centrifugal force. Give examples of day-to-day -day life where the centripetal force and centrifugal force are used or experienced. In activity C, identify the types of the forces. Also, identify the type of the motion of the each ball. After a week or so, we can elaborate this concept by asking these questions to the students. How can we separate the butter from the buttermilk? How do pathologists separate the blood cells from the blood? Students can be asked about the explanation of the revolution of the planets and the effect of the centripetal force and the centrifugal force on their revolution. Why the earth is bulged at the equator? These questions can be given as a homework and teachers can discuss the answers in the next period. Or students can be asked to perform the following activities in extra classes or off periods. The links of these activities are given below in the description box. 
Since I started performing hands-on activities in my class, students are showing interest to learn the new concepts. Performing activities in the class makes the students to visualize the concepts. Students can think about the concepts and so they remember the concepts for a longer time. That is what every teacher expects, right? Hope this video helped you. Thank you.